This video segment is designed to give you information about Web Enclosed Moths and how to effectively use Insects Limited's Web Enclosed Moth Pheromone Kits to monitor for these moths and help you locate the source of the infestation. Removal or treatment of the source of infestation will lead to the elimination of these damaging moths. A large portion of this video will cover Web Enclosed Moth biology as this is important in knowing where to place the traps. Web enclosed moths were likely introduced into the United States before the 1860s. They often travel with clothing, rugs, or other belongings containing wool or other natural animal products. The larva or worm stage alone is responsible for damage to materials. The adult moths lack functioning, chewing mouth parts. Damage is most often concentrated in dark areas, crevices or creases in their preferred food. Examples of these dark areas could be beneath furniture and cushions, where carpets and textiles are folded, and in garments under collars, cuffs, and folds. Adult clothes moths are secretive and are often found in these darkened places. They will attempt to hide when disturbed and will often run, hop, or fly short distances to escape. They are weak flyers compared to other moth species. Males actively seek out female moths in order to mate. Males and females can penetrate through surprisingly narrow cracks as they find their way into storage cabinets and boxes. Once mated, females look for suitable food sources to lay their eggs. An information sheet is available to you that gives you most of the biology on web enclosed moths that is covered in this video. When we are looking at identification features for the web enclosed moth, we first look at the adult. The adults have a size of about one quarter to three eighths of an inch or seven to ten millimeters in length and a wing spread of about three eighths of an inch or ten millimeters. The color of the adults is a straw colored, yellow or tan or buff colored insects with narrow wings fringed with hairs at the end. A tuft of hairs on the head is upright and coppery to reddish gold in color. The larvae are white colored with brown to black heads. Generally, developmental time for the clothes moth from egg to adult in room temperature with a good food source is approximately 45 days. Mating and egg laying begins almost immediately after adults emerge from the pupa. Adult moths do not feed and die within a month. Female moths can lay up to 57 small pinhead sized white eggs on or near the fabric, clothing, or furnishings they infest. Clothes moth larvae feed on woolens, mohair, feathers, fur, hair, leather, dead insects, and dried animal carcasses. Infestations occur in clothing, carpets, rugs, furs, fabrics, blankets, stored wool products, and upholstery to name a few things. Synthetics, cottons, and other plant materials are not attacked by the web enclosed moth unless these items are stained with food or body oils. Although synthetics may be ingested, they cannot be digested. A clothes moth infestation is often detected from damaged fabrics by the presence of silken webs spun by the larva, sometimes producing only scattered patches of silk. Damage is accompanied by copious webbing tubes or sheets which frequently include large amounts of frass as seen in this image. Infestations appear far more messy than the damage caused by case making clothes moths. This portion will discuss how to use pheromone traps effectively. Insect pheromones are chemicals produced by the insects themselves to communicate with each other. Sex pheromones are generally the scent that the female insect emits to attract males to her when she is ready to mate. What Insects Limited has done is synthesized the sex pheromone and injected it into a bullet lure dispenser. The lure is then placed into a sticky trap and immediately begins to attract adult male moths. The bullet lure containing the sex pheromone for web enclosed moths will actively attract males for a two month period after which it will need to be replaced. Detailed instructions as seen here on trap assembly and lure placement are included in each kit. Here we will show an example of how to use pheromone traps in a space known to be infested. 
It is essential that the species of moth be identified first as pheromones are very species specific. Pheromone traps and lures should be placed out in a grid pattern throughout the space. Make sure to keep the traps five meters away from open doorways to prevent outdoor pests from entering. In this example, after one to two weeks of monitoring, a single trap in the lower right corner has captured more than twice as many insects as any of the other traps. Traps are combined to form a tighter grid pattern around this single trap in the lower right corner. Then they are allowed to collect more moss for one to two weeks. A single trap in the tighter grid captures the majority of the moss. A detailed visual inspection of objects in this area is performed and the infestation is located and removed. Please feel free to call us at Insects Limited at 800-992-1991 for any questions.